So you mean to tell me we can't even send our kids to school no more? Yeah, it's sad. Husband of a Bronx daycare owner after a toddler died from contact with fentanyl. Two other children remain in the hospital. Meanwhile, we are learning more about what the daycare owner was doing when she should have been calling for help to try to save these children and possibly save a life. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live in the Kingsbridge section of the Bronx with the very latest on this story. Janice, good morning. Good morning, Sherling Gray Mendez. She's the owner of this daycare. Should have been calling 911 as soon as she found those children unresponsive inside the daycare. But instead, a detective say she was on the phone with her husband as well as several other people. And we've also learned that detectives found video of her husband as well as some other people carrying bags of unknown things out of the daycare in the midst of all of this chaos. And as of this morning, uh, one child is back at home. Two-year-old Jaziel uh, Lino, uh, that is great news. He's back at home doing better, reunited with his family. However, two others remain in the hospital and tragically, uh, as we've been reporting, one-year-old Nicholas was killed. Now, Mendez, as well as Carlisto Acevedo Brito, who was a tenant in that apartment, remain behind bars without bail, charged with 11 counts, including murder. Police are still searching for Mendez's husband. Now, with Authorities believe the kids had been exposed to fentanyl particles all day at the daycare inside of the apartment on Morris Street on Friday. Traces of it were found under the mats where the children were sleeping. Detectives say a kilo of fentanyl, drug production equipment, uh, those things were found inside the daycare. Yesterday, Mayor Adams stressing just how dangerous even small traces of this drug can be and calling for a, quote, national assault on this drug entering the city. What are we doing? What are we doing as a society to our children? This was probably one of the worst days I've had of going up to the Bronx, sitting down with those parents, losing their babies like this. They dropped the babies off to a daycare center, hoping that their children would be protected by the caregivers. Well, so on September 6th, city inspectors actually did a surprise uh, inspection at this daycare. The daycare passed with no violations. Now, the city uh, health and uh, the health commissioner yesterday talked about this and said that generally fentanyl is not something the city inspectors search for. But after this, uh, maybe they should be looking in the future. It's sad when you can't even send your kids to school. You drop your kids off to school where you think that they would be safe. A daycare? You mean to tell me they have fentanyl in a daycare where children can be affected? Well, six kids was affected and rushed to the hospital. Unfortunately, one did not make it. But could you imagine dropping your baby off to daycare? You going to continue your day at work like you supposed to do as a parent to get a phone call that your child has overdosed on fentanyl? Like, it's crazy because you never can trust a soul. I mean, you never know who anybody is, but you would think if you dropped your, your child off at a daycare center that you're dropping them off in a place that would be safe. So for that to be the unsafest place that could have been for them ever, that's just real sad. My heart. My heart goes out to those parents that kids was put in jeopardy and even more so for those parents that that child that lost the, of that child that lost that oh man his little life like a baby a baby and then sis all on the news they can't find her husband you mean to tell me this man is on the run like he's going yeah you need to run and i hope they catch him and i hope they punish him by all means necessary of the law because that's crazy you really dropped your baby off to daycare you go to work to to make a living you understand to make a living and you have to receive a phone call that your baby is put in a situation so severe. Like, I've seen the outcome of fentanyl in adults. So I could ima only imagine 
the hardship of the fentanyl within them babies. Like, you you got to be careful out here these days. And the bad part, it was nothing that those parents did wrong. They did not put them kids in that situation. They thought that their kids was actually in a safe situation. I'm so sorry about the camera shaking. But I am so pissed and my nerves is so bad right now. Not only am I a parent, I'm a person that has a heart. So to know that these babies was put in a situation where one lost their life and many others could have. Yeah, that's crazy for me. Listen, this been your girl Tay with the T. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm, I'm like... I'm devastated right now. Devastated. This happened in the Bronx, New York, okay? And the bad part, these people just did an inspection on this daycare last month, okay? And they passed with flying colors. But who would think to be going in the daycare to search for fentanyl? Why would anybody think that that would be one of the things that they would be searching for within a daycare center where there's nothing but babies i mean on the sign it said from six weeks and up so you mean to tell me they was caring for newborn babies with that fentanyl in there oh lord have mercy i pray i pray because the things that's going on today is scary nothing nowhere or nobody seems to be safe you can be doing the right thing be in the right place at the right time and things still go awry there should be no reason why you drop your child off to daycare and you're not able to pick that child up the same way you drop them off you have to be afraid that the people that you dropped your kids off with are being negligent before they would say it would take a village to raise a child but now you have to save your child from the village because the same village is the ones that's taking our children away ain't no way that there's no safety not in the schools nowhere like daycare is supposed to be the safest place these are not even children that are of age to be acting active on their own everything that they do or everything that they're doing is through the strength of someone else so they was put in that situation through the strength of someone else well this this just is going to make a lot a lot more parents uneasy about dropping their babies off in daycare while they work so now how people supposed to be able to provide for themselves if there's no safe space for their kids to be able to go while they do that you mean to tell me a baby had to lose their life to fentanyl? Fin I can't get over the fact of fentanyl. That they was mixing up fentanyl in a daycare center. Like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. And then they say that the guy was renting a room. You still got to be careful with that. How you renting rooms to somebody in a daycare center? You, I mean, just being honest. Other than the, the, the fentanyl. It could have been other things in this person's background that also could have been of harm to these kids. People not thinking about this. Well, prayers and blessings to that family, okay? And prayers and blessings to those other children that was able to recover. Anyway, this has been your girl Tay with the T. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe for me. Your girl is out. Tea with Tay. Hit the like button, please don't play.